Oh, you guys, plenty of friends here. Right, as you can see by the title, I've got some more Mad Dog stuff in today. And, um, basically, I've been sorting it out so that then I can spill it off and all go all over my kit. Uh, as you can see, Mad Dog bags are all empty. Because, yeah, I just like to do them separately. To start off with, as I said, I bought a little stuff. I bought some activated charcoal. Some Mad Dog biscuits. And Mad Dog jewels. And some Mad Dog wicks. As well as some flint from Mad Dog. And, um, yeah, I've been, this is it. I've been going through it and sorting it out. I've used some bits I've already had. I've sorted out a long time ago. I had this bag of my dog stuff, but I really need to transfer into a better bag. Still good stuff. It's lovely. I love it. This is some of the old stuff I've got. What I haven't sorted out yet is shavings and some of this fat wood. But everything else is in here. This will be going into my workshop. Not like this. I like to separate it, as you're going to see, all over my kit. Yes, I have cut down from 100, 110, 120 litre workshop down to a 45 litre workshop. A difference. That's the reason why I'm going through this one as well. I know I've got some more. I like helping my dog out. If anybody else has got any fire starters, what you think it would be good for me to try out, please let me know. And I will try them out. And if, and if I like them, I'll add them to my kit. So, I'll show you what I've done. As you all know, I like these foil bags. And basically, I've added some bits into these foil bags. Where I can, I lose the where I can split this all over my kit, all over my back, all over my rucksack, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, as you can see, there's the Mad Dog Jewels, the Mad Dog Biscuits, some more Mad Dog Biscuits, some more Mad Dog Jewels, the uh, Mad Dog Fire Whips, some more um, Mad Dog Jewels. There is a lot here, and I'm happy to have all this here. And I'm happy to add this to my kit. And um, I recommend every single person, don't just put all your fire starters, in my opinion, in one spot. Put them all over your kit. That's what's going to happen with all this one. I'm going to go through this one. And add back to my kit. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. And, um, as I said, split up your fire kits, fire starters. Don't just keep them all in one place. Because if they're all in one place and you lose that, then you're going to struggle to start off with. And then, yes, you can use natural stuff. I get that. I understand that. But why would you want to do that in a survival situation or, end of the, or whatever you want to call it, end of the world or 72-hour bag, 72-hour kit? I'll go out for 72 hours to leave your property. In my opinion, that's a little rubbish. But, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. That's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Please like the video. Please share the video. And please join us again on another video at Plum Effects. Thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.